Welcome to this tutorial, guys. Basically, I'm going through Pythagoras or Pythagorean's theorem, Pythagoras's theorem, okay, whatever you want to call it. And essentially, the theorem goes like this. Okay, so uh, firstly, the one condition that you need is you always must have a right angle, right angled triangle. Okay, so a right angle triangle is a triangle where you have at least, no, you have 190 degree, it's a bit confusing, let's say 190 degree angle. Okay, and what that looks like, it can look something like this. Let's see if I can get it right. You can have a triangle like that. There we go. There's our 90 degree. We can have a weird, so it doesn't really matter what the orientation is, but it must have a 90 degree, uh, 90 degree somewhere. Okay, so the theorem says this. Okay, so essentially what the theorem says is that your longest length C, let's lay in these A and B, so A is that distance right there, B is this distance, and C is this long distance right here. So what the theorem says is that C squared equals a squared plus b squared. Okay, you need to basically know this theorem off by heart. It always comes up and they don't give it to you on the formula sheet. Okay, obviously this can be written to solve for a by going a squared. Let's take that off. So we can say that a squared is equal to c squared minus b squared and it can also be written as b squared equals c squared minus a squared <clears throat> okay so these are all exactly the same but they can be written differently but all of them are the same so i'm just going to work with this one okay so the proof of pythagorean theorem you can go and look that up online somewhere um is quite interesting but essentially all you need to know is this formula is the most important thing to know Okay, knowing this, let's go into some examples. Okay, so first let's start with some numerical examples. So let's start with a triangle. Okay, um, okay, there's our 90 degree angle. So it's important to know that your longest angle or your longest side C is always opposite to your 90 degrees. Okay, so going back to the example, we have a triangle with a length of 3, 4, and we are told to figure out what c is. So always start by writing out the formula. c squared equals a squared plus b squared, okay, and then label your diagram. So let a b equal z and b equal that. So it doesn't really matter what you let a equal or b equal, but yeah, so just let it be that. So you have b squared plus 4 squared, which is equal to 9 plus 16, which is equal to 25. But remember that is c squared. So we take the square root of both sides and c equals 5. So c equals 5. Like I said, it doesn't matter what you let. So for the second one, let's do this. Okay, so let's let this equal b and this equal a. So now we have c squared equals uh, 4 squared plus 3 squared equals 16 plus 9 equals 25. Square root. So like I said, it doesn't really make a difference. Um, but the longest side must always be the longest side. Must always be c. Okay, let's look at another example. So let's say we have a triangle orientated like this. Okay, oh, that's not so nice. Let's erase that. Let's say it's something 
like that. Okay, that's better. We have a 90 degree here. We've been given that this is 13 and this is 5. We must work out this length here. Okay, first let's determine what the Okay, so first let's write a formula. So writing out our formula, we know that c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Okay, so let's find out what our c, a, and b is. So the longest side is clearly 13, it's opposite to our 90 degree. So this is 13 squared, and let's let a equals 5, and the unknown equals b. So we have 5 squared plus b squared. So rearranging this, we have b squared equals 13 squared. Taking this 5 to that side, we get we get minus, minus 5 squared. So we have b squared equals 169 minus 25, which is equal to 144. So b squared equals 144. So b equals square root of both sides, 12. So our b value is equal to 12 and that is the unknown okay let's try one more question again these aren't too difficult okay so let's look at a triangle that looks something like that okay our 90 degrees are there and we have been given that this is x and this is equal to mm, let's say 2 we have to figure out this unknown side. So start off with your formula always. c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Okay, let's identify c. c is always opposite our 90 degrees, which is the unknown. So let's leave it as c squared equals, let's let this equal, let's let the 2 equal a. So the 2 is equal to a and the x is equal to b. Uh, so we have <coughs> 2 squared plus b squared or rather x squared so c is c squared equals 4 plus x squared so c is equal to 4 plus x squared square rooted square rooting both sides and that's the final answer if you start with a variable your final answer will have a variable okay and let's look at something that's not so nice let's see Let's have a triangle that looks something like this. Okay, we have our 90 degree. And let's say we have 5 and let's go with 2. So start off with our formula once again. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. What is our C? It is equal to 5. And let's label this A and Let's label this b. So a is equal to 2, so we have 2 squared plus b squared. Solving for b, we get b squared equals 5 squared minus 2 squared. b squared is equal to 25 minus 4. Yes, so b squared is equal to 21. Taking the square root, b equals the square root of 21 okay so not all answers are whole numbers we can sometimes get some strange numbers okay so let's go on to one more example or let's rather do two more examples with some variables so we have a triangle let's see let's orientate it like this like i'm trying to draw these triangles so they look different so you're used to seeing triangles in different angles and shapes and they don't really matter as long as you know there is a 90 degree okay something i have left out whenever you say this a squared plus b squared uh, a, c squared equals a squared plus b squared we should have the statement that it was we figured this out by pythagoras just so that whoever's reading our work knows that we're not making this up it is indeed a theorem so whenever I say that, I should in theory say Pythagoras by pi 
So Pythagoras, so you get the gist of it. Always say that it is by Pythagoras. Okay, going on to our example. Let's say we have been given that this is equal to 5x. Okay, this is equal to 13x. No, not 13x, but rather 12x. And we have to figure out the unknown side. Okay, our equation is equal to a squared plus b squared, which is by Pythagoras. Okay, so let's find find out. Okay, so that is the longest distance, or the biggest distance. So we know that this is c squared. So let's leave that as a c, which is unknown. Let's make this a, and let's make this b. Remember that it's a squared. So it's equal to the entire thing in a squared plus the entire thing, including the x in b. And we come to this. We have. 144x squared plus 25x squared. Okay, so c squared is equal to, we can add these because we have the same variable with the same exponents, 169x squared. Okay, square root both sides. So we're left with c equals 13x. And that is the final answer. Okay, again, not so difficult. Okay. So let's do one more example. Let's draw it a bit weird. So we have that. Doesn't really matter what it looks like. Like I said, we have a side of five, a side of four, and an unknown. Okay, again, we start off by writing our equation. A squared plus b squared, and how do we know this? By Pythagoras. Okay, let's think about this. What is our c? It's always the side opposite the 90 degree, which is 5 squared is equal to, let's label 4 equals to our a, and b equals our unknown. So, oh, let's make them x's. As, okay, let's actually, let me redefine this question. So, Let's start this question right from the beginning. Okay, so let's make this a word problem. Okay, so we are given a triangle. Okay, we are given a triangle with the following information on it. Okay, B is unknown, and we're also given that the perimeter is equal to, let's think of a number, let's make it random, let's say 60. Okay, so the parameter is equal to 60. Solve for x. So essentially it's saying, what is the value of x? So let's start with, again, uh, Pythagoras, and we have c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Again, we label this c, we label this a, and we label that b, so we're left with 5 x and remember it's the entire term squared equals 4x squared plus b squared okay so we have 25x squared equals 16x squared plus b squared change it change the orders we have b as the variable we move that 16 that way which becomes a minus 16x squared so we have b squared equals no, um, yeah, 9x squared, take the square root of both sides, so b equals 3x. Cool stuff. So we can redraw this triangle, not like that, but we can redraw a triangle that is very similar to it. Let's say something like that, where we now know that this is 5x, this is 4x, and the unknown is 3x. And we need to solve for x. So we look at this right here where we've been given the perimeter. So with this, we can say that the perimeter, what is the perimeter equal to? The perimeter, if we remember our definition, is the sum of the entire length around a shape. So the perimeter is equal to 5x plus 4x plus 3x. And the perimeter is also equal to 60. 
Okay, so adding this, we get 5 plus 4 is 9, plus 3 is 12x is equal to 60. So x is equal to 5. So we have finally found the value of x. Okay, I want you to do one more example in your own time where we have, let me set out the question, we have a nice triangle, okay, with a length of 13y, and this side is a 5y, and we have a 90 degree right there. First find the unknown, and then find y, okay, given that the perimeter is equal to, let's see, let's say 90 meters, okay? So I'm going to give you the answer, but you should do this in your own time. Um, okay, so answer is coming now. So if you have not done the question, pause the video right now. Okay, good stuff, you paused it and now you've got the answer. So you get that the unknown side is equal to 12y, and you get that y is equal to, let's see what it becomes, is equal to three meters. Okay, so I hope you paused the video and did the question. Um, yeah, so I think we've gone through Pythagoras quite thoroughly, going through a lot of examples. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and good luck.